court. This is a rivalry matchup, so anything can happen. Norfolk comes into the game at 2-12 and 12 on the road, while the hometown Columbus team is 4-10. and 10. And from the get-go, it was all Norfolk early. You got a lot of players who were getting some really good looks. Tanner Eisenhower had four points in the first quarter. Jack Borgman with four. Kamari Moore with two three-pointers as well in that first quarter. He was hitting everything, and another one right there as Norfolk got out to a big, I believe it was a 12-point lead, 12 to nothing lead. Finally, it looked like Columbus was starting to get a couple shots to fall their way. So we headed to the, sixth, uh, the second quarter now, 18 to eight. So Norfolk had still held that 12-point lead and another three-pointer here from the man of the hour, Kamari Moore. But Columbus wanted to rally back. It was a 15-point lead, was the most that it was here this evening. And Columbus was not quite done yet. They never was able, they were never really able, able to get right back in it early from the get-go, but just chip away a little bit at a time. Some really good uh, quarters tonight from Sam Kwapnowski, our player of the game with 18 points. Ian Libby, who had four points in the first half, Finished the night with 17 as we head to the third quarter. Now it's 29 to 16, a 13 point lead for Columbus. Kamari Moore with a nice little floater there. Backs it back up to 15 at one point in the third quarter. Here's this shot that falls in for Columbus to brings it back within single digits and a three pointer at the end of the third quarter buzzer by Taden Bell, his first three pointer of the game, his first field goal of the game uh, for three points. He finished the night with seven points, had a couple or a couple free throws in overtime. As we head to the fourth quarter now, Columbus, aggressive. They get steals, and they get one with Sam Kwapnowski. He finishes at the rim, cuts it to a two-point game, and another steal. Now we're all tied up, and all of a sudden, with the and one shot, Columbus takes a lead, gets the uh, the free throw to fall back up by two, and Kamari Moore, as you can see right there, a baseline jumper to tie it up, 52 all. And no shots for either team. Kwapnowski wanted a three-pointer to take the lead with just a few seconds left. Could not hit it. And Kamari Moore had a chance for the Panthers at the end of overtime as well, but he could not land it here. How about that shot? Connor Martinez falling to the right side. Puts up a tough jumper uh, off the glass to give the lead right back. And from that point on, it was all mistakes. No buckets for Norfolk. There's Connor Martinez again who lays it in and gets the big win. Come from behind in a rivalry matchup. Columbus 62, Norfolk 52 with that win. The Discoverers improved to 5 and 10 on this season, and they win two in a row. They're now four of four in their last eight games.